Hey everybody, welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home for a rare Wednesday shave. It's the last day of the vacation before back to the shop. So sadly, I know everybody's boo-hooing and, and, and sad that you won't see me again till Sunday. Yeah, sure. Uh, joining my buddy, the Deacon Shaves, he had mentioned that Wednesday was Italian Wednesday. So we're going to do an Italian-themed shave today. It will be a straight razor shave. Now, this is only the second shave with this razor. Uh, and this is a Thierse Izzard. So, uh, this is actually a... 6 8 uh, and it is the second of the, or excuse me, the third of the Sapato Ficcio Veracino um, uh, collector's razors, and this one is uh, Galileo Galilee, so this is a, and that Galileo means a lot, and it's got a beautiful, beautiful uh, spine on it and everything else, and uh, so we'll shave with that. Uh, for our Italian-themed soap today, we're going to be using uh, fine Italian citrus uh, in the, I don't even think he makes these anymore, and then the Italian citrus matching breast, the C20, with the angel hair uh, synthetic, uh, followed by the Italian citrus aftershave, and then, of course, followed by aqua de gel. So that's what we're doing today. So hope everybody's doing well for a Wednesday. Looking forward to getting back to the shop. Although the next couple of days is going to be hectic as heck. But it should be should be fun. This C20 is uh, just a, a light little brush. The uh, The Angel Hair Synthetic is a really, really fine synthetic. Um, nice, though. And this Italian Citrus is the old stock before he changed over to a new maker, I believe. And then, of course, I know a lot of you remember that Italian citrus was gone for a long time. Should be good to go. Over the years, Italian citrus has gained kind of legendary status um, as far as a homage to the king of Italian fragrances, um, Aqua de Parma. Okay, let's see what happens. As is typical with um, this TI, this is a full hollow, and it is definitely a singer. And even though it's a uh, a full hollow. It's a, it's a heavy razor. It's a heavy, heavy razor, both on the blade and in the scale. But it's balanced real well. Yeah, 
And even though Corat is not making the Sepinfacio Ferrocino um, Collector Series anymore, um, it feels very much like a Corat. He's made the first two, and then this is the third, made by TI. The first one was an eight eights, and then the uh, the other the other one was a, I think a seven eights. The uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I take that back. It is a six eights. So far, good first pass. I think I need to refine that edge just a little bit. I was going to send it, um, or I'm still planning on sending it to Bill um, to have it uh, honed. The convex way but uh, i don't know when that'll be so i may just refresh it on the codicule and the arc we'll see because i have been stropping it on the convex strop so i may just keep it that way let me check something real quick yeah this is uh it is six eighths. This is the second uh, of the Supper of Cho. This is the uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I did not get in on the first one, which was just an eight eighths uh, razor by Corat, but this one feels a lot like it. What a fun razor. Great second pass as well. A little heavy handed right there. I don't think it's a, a weeper, but maybe I have an angry follicle from yesterday. And that stunt shave with the ever ready. Just a reminder, if you do like what you're seeing, uh, please uh, click on the uh, cowboy hat with the uh, barber pole. That'll get you subscribed. We only need 40 more and we're at 1,000, so we're excited about that. Uh, then also, check out everybody in the description section, all the other channels. And then, uh, if you'd be so kind, come and see us at the Shaving Cottery.
And I do sincerely appreciate all my subscribers, all the likes and all the comments. It is because I can learn something new and I appreciate the good comments and the bad, the constructive ones. Uh, and I try to get back to them as quickly as I can. But I do appreciate your viewership more than you know. You know, it's funny, we were talking on our Zoom call on Sunday about grinds, uh, heavier, grain, uh, heavier grinds versus lighter grinds, but we really didn't get into the subject of heavier razors, you know, because obviously the grinds sometimes will make the razor heavier, but uh, we didn't talk too much about how weighted razors can be, and this one feels uh, every bit as heavy um, grind-wise, even, even though it's a full hollow, um, as a wedge. I mean, it's got a lot of metal on it. So this feels as, as heavy as my, either my, uh, my Joseph Elliott, uh, eight eights, uh, for barber use or my Wade Butcher eight eights. I mean, it's a, it's a heavy razor. And as I said, this is only the second time I've used it. You gotta love barber notches. Because it does make the stability for the fool's pass so much easier. Okay, let's see how much cleanup we need today. Much better shave than yesterday. Uh, just in the neck area has uh, poor norms. There we go. Ooh, that was scary. 
didn't have the razor locked in and it got started to pitch on me a little bit. That could have been ugly. That should be good. Yeah, I don't know what I did to my what I did to my my chin right there. Could just be a follicle that's not happy. Virtually no alum sting except for that one spot right here, but I don't see any weeper. So I'm going to call that good. And for our witch hazel today, we will be using Quinn's pink grapefruit and orange rind. Kind of for that Italian feel. Let that dry down a little bit while we clean everything up. Well, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of the week. I am excited to get back to the shop, but I'm also excited the fact that it's a three day week rather than a four day week. Oh, just a beautiful, beautiful shave. And for the aftershave, of course, uh, fine Italian citrus. Oh, wonderful. Now, this is the newer formulation because I ran out of the old stuff a long time ago. But it's still just wonderful. And as typical with most fine products, you got water alcohol fragrance and menthol that's it nothing else so she'll give you she'll give you a little bit of a of a sting to let you know she's there now for our talk today we're going to be using yardley gold Just a little bit more. And then for our fragrance today, we'll be using Aqua de Jo. Okay, folks, that's it for the shave for the day and for the week. I certainly appreciate you joining along with us. Um, this will be the last shave, uh, videotape shave anyways, until Sunday. And I know you guys are just so depressed about that. But anyways, I appreciate you subscribing. appreciate you being viewers and I appreciate you coming along the ride. Again, come and see us at the Cadre. And uh, I'm Barbara Dave and this has been Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. And we hope everybody, everybody has a wonderful remainder of the week. Take care. Mm -hmm.